Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got an exciting product to review today and it's going to be the SOG switch plier. This is going to come in at $50. You heard right, $50 at DLT Trading. And I've heard really good reviews about that website. So I'll make sure to put a link below for it. So for $50, you get almost like a switchblade action deployable pliers. I really love that. I love that in the Gerber recoil. And we'll do a comparison in a future video, but for now I just wanna go over some of the positives and the negatives of this multi-tool so that you can, after you watch this, perhaps go to DL Trading or skip it and buy something else. All right, so let's do a size comparison. First of all, I want to mention this comes in, the switch plier comes in at 6.3 ounces. It's going to be a lot narrower than the Gerber Truss, which is admittedly a hefty multi-tool. One of the things I love about the switch plier is it's got a pocket clip. So many great multi-tools do not have a pocket clip, and that's disappointing. So here we find it matched up against the Leatherman Skeletal, and they are pretty close, really close in size. So there you go. All right, so we have got positives. This has a pocket clip, it's fairly lightweight. It has got the switchblade-like pliers, and it comes in at only $50. So let's look at some of, some of the rest of its tool set. So we'll notice it does have a ruler, metrics, and, metric rather, and... Uh, maybe it just comes in a metric, actually. I guess this is inches on this side. It just had so many segments there, I wasn't sure. But anyway, so you do have the ruler there. All right, moving on, we do have a very square-shaped plier handle, and we'll talk more about that later. So on the inside, we notice that we have a three-sided file. Here is a close-up of the file, if I can get it without the light blinding. And then we do have piano locks on the back. That is something SOG has used for several years now. Now on the inside, one of the other positives I would say, it's not really the positive in the knife steel, but just how sharp it is, at least coming out of the box, is that it is going to be, uh, this is going to be 420 stainless steel, but it definitely comes out filling a lot sharper than several other SOGs I've gotten. Admittedly, probably most of them were used. All right, so then we'll go ahead and close this blade. These will be all locking. So for friends overseas, for you watching, unfortunately, this will not probably be legal for you. And let's make sure this knife is closed to carry. All right, so we have got the file, and then I wanted to mention, this is something also SOG does, is they have this fairly long Phillips driver, and then they're able to tuck two tools in underneath. So that's sort of unique in that it does save space, but I guess one of the negatives is you do have a Phillips screwdriver that is a little thinner underneath. So we do have the Phillips, we have an awl, and then we do have the can opener on one side of the Phillips, and on the other side, it's already been tucked away. No, it's still out here. We have the bottle opener with a flat screwdriver. So that is going to be the complement to the pliers. All right, so looking at some of the negatives is that this handle, especially if you really want to crank down on this, it real, will really get in your way and sort of hurt you, at least if you hold it like this. It really sort of bites into your fingers. So I guess you can hold it like this, but anyway, that is sort of unpleasant. This is going to be definitely more of a light use multi-tool. So on DLT Trading, you'll notice that it has a negative review, very negative review, and it says that this plier broke while cutting copper. So we've just cut co copper, and I've cut a copper wire many times already, and it has not broken yet. Not to say that it won't, but it hasn't broken yet. Now, I have tried cutting coat hangers several times, and I have to say that this is just too uncomfortable and unwellly to cut coat hanger, and it almost feels like I might damage something as well. So this is definitely something, a multi-tool you do not want to use for super heavy-duty tasks, just so you know up front. On the end, we see that the pliers meet fairly well there, but I have to say that I really miss SOG's compound leverage gear system 
I really, really like that. That's one of my favorite thing about Sogar SOG. And unfortunately with this one, just with this quick release right there, they do not have it, but you still get really, really neat pliers. So we've gone over a couple of the negatives. It is a lighter duty tool. You need to know that out of the, out of the box, I guess. And that is something definitely to consider, but it is very light, very, very light. It's got this pocket clip and it has this really unique feature as well. Now I foresee in the future that this multi-tool will probably skyrocket up to one to $200, definitely on eBay. And probably when they sell out and you can't get this anymore, you will see this going for $150 to $200 price range. Just so you know, that's sort of how things go. Some of these unique tools, especially if some of them do break, uh, they, some of them are hoarded by collectors and then the rest try to sell them for exorbitant prices on eBay. So I really like this multi-tool for $50. What can you buy for $50 today from Leatherman? Well, maybe the Rev, that's about the only fuller size multi-tool you can get for $50. And in Gerber, yes, you can get the truss for around the same price and the suspension NXT, but none of them have this really cool factor, so I really like that. The purpose of carrying this, I think, is definitely to have sort of as an EDC multi-tool where it has a little bit extra potential and extra capability, but this is definitely not going to be a work EDC multi-tool. Definitely, I will still keep my Surge, Leatherman Surge, and I will not be replacing it with this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. I'll make sure to put the link for this below, and we'll see you in the next video.